as an ENT surgeon, are there anything you can do to help someone that has sleep apnea? Sure. You know, taking all comers, um, every, every person that walks in the door with sleep apnea, um, we're not very good at fixing sleep apnea surgically. And that's, that's because sleep apnea is, 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 a, um, is a process that's different for each patient. So each patient has to be taken individually, their uh, anatomy has to be taken into to account, and we need to, to address each, each patient's anatomy um, in an individual pattern. Not, we, we, as an ENT surgeon, we look at the levels of obstruction, whether it's in the nasal cavity, the, the oral cavity, the oral pharynx, uh, or lower down at the base of tongue or in the throat, and we address those areas. A deviated nasal septum or nasal polyps that are growing in the nose can be corrected surgically and removed to allow the nasal airway to be open. Uh, in children, adenoids uh, that are blocking the, the, the nasal pharynx can be removed to open that airway. In the back of the throat, the very large tonsils or a redundant palate or uvula can cause blockage in the throat and, and trimming those and removing the tonsils can, can, can open up that airway. And at the back of the tongue, we can do tongue-based reduction procedures to, to open the airway. So each patient's an individual and um, that's how we have to, to assess each patient.